Arab Gulf nations demand Netflix to remove immoral LGBT content. <laughs> of course. On of course. September 6th, the Gulf Cooperative Council, or GCC, demanded the immensely popular streaming site Netflix remove offensive content, citing material that violates Islamic and societal values and principles. The council includes Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Bahrain, Kuwait, Oman, and the United Arab Emirates. This recent change is likely a response to Netflix airing LGBT positive content, including queer characters in many of its shows. Netflix still hasn't responded to the comment by the GCC. In a recently aired report on Saudi state television, an interview with a woman who calls herself a behavioral consultant called Netflix an official sponsor of homosexuality. <laughs> Esra Asari, CEO of the Saudi General Commission for Audiovisual Media, or the acronym for that is GCAM, said, quote, all legal measures will be taken to protect the kingdom's sovereignty, citizens, and the residents from any intellectual attack aimed at affecting its societies, values, and the safety of upbringing their generations and protecting them from harmful content. A day after the GCC statement was released, the Egyptian government declared that they want Netflix to adhere to, quote, societal principles and values of the country they're streaming in. So I thought, this was pretty hilarious. Obviously, this isn't something we agree with, but this is just too humorous to me. Do they not understand the power of the LGBT community within these countries? Like you, they would be crucified, wouldn't? Like I don't know, maybe you I'm, mean within I'm... you mean within their countries of origin? Yeah, like what do like? I mean, rightfully so. I'm happy that they have this power. But net, like, wouldn't Netflix be crucified within their home country if they were like, okay, no gays for you? Like, wouldn't that be like, the, like people were like, wait a second, what? Like, they oh, have people if they would have be to... going after Netflix so hard, and Netflix can't tolerate that right now. They're losing too many subscribers. Yeah, there would there would be a boycott, and everybody would be participating, right? I mean, you don't even have to not watch Netflix. People would be like, guys, just like torrented or something right um I mean, like finally we have an excuse to like you know for people who like nest don't are against torrents so like now we don't have a you know now we're not feeling guilty but um again i don't understand like do they do they not understand that if you force them to choose be between saudi market and their own home market because that's what they're forcing them to choose from right they're going to choose their home market. Like they're not, they don't want to get boycotted by everybody. Well, it's the whole Gulf Which, market, really. Yeah, but still, it's, it's like a fraction of the people in America and in Europe who watch Netflix. And a lot of them are going to be like, screw you, Netflix. What the hell? Like, wouldn't they? Yeah. Like, am I exaggerating here? Maybe I'm exaggerating. I just feel no, like. No, I believe you're right. I mean, when I say LGBT community, I'm talking about everybody, including their allies. Like, I feel like. Uh, I'm even in included in that. Like, I, we mm -hmm. would like everybody, you know, so I don't know. I just think like, and also, but when you do this, okay, so actually what they're doing makes sense, but let me finish this up and I will tell you why. Um, if they get kicked Netflix out of, the, you know, Gulf countries, people will still get these shows. I mm -hmm. mean, it's easy to find these shows. The reason why people lose Netflix is not because they don't know how to get these shows. It's just that, the environment is just more convenient like you're paying the monthly payment because it's just nice and you have all that you can scroll down everything you don't have to keep like downloading and touring it just like takes a few steps away from you like to save yourself some time right and just the atmosphere is nice and you like that so that's why but if you take that away from them people will still watch these shows so it's not like they're not going to get exposed to this content and i, I think they know this it can't be that stupid Right. So I think this is just about them saving face. Right. Because if they don't ask for this, it looks like they're tolerating it. Right. So they know probably that Netflix will not submit to this demand. Maybe that's a very good know, point, actually. Yeah. That's a and very I good probably, point. and also they probably know that the people who watch Netflix within their countries will continue to watch them because there's, they, they will find the shows anyways. 
uh, the only thing that they care about is like they don't want to seem like they're on the side of putting their stamp of approval on these shows, which I think yeah. is what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. D is saying Netflix didn't buckle over Dave Chappelle. They will fight this too. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, then, so then they would be proud gonna... of fighting this. They were like, Haha. like they would be like, of course, like we value, we are, we are, like this is the easiest choice, the easiest choice for Netflix. Like, do you think Netflix is like gonna be like, oh yeah, this is their culture? So sorry, LGBT. Like that would be the end of them. I think I don't know. Not the end. No, of I them, agree. Like, and then James yeah. is saying Netflix apparently had a huge woke purge though. I, just because they had a woke this is not woke. Purge, it doesn't, this is they, liberal. Yeah, I don't think they're anti-LGBT. They're fine with it. They just don't want self-canceling, self-silencing culture within their company, which is very different. Um, Guys, being I think when I think wait 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 if, wait wait I need to respond to this. I need to respond to this. When did pro? When did being pro-LGBT become woke? This is your traditional liberal values. This is not woke. This they are there. Netflix is liberal. This is they are all like most of the tech companies are, you know, if they're not woke, they're liberal. They're not going to go fully right leaning and be like, okay, or Islamic. They're these are liberals, okay? Like, we are liberals. What guys, can you please not group everybody that is to the left of you as like the wokies and the liberals? Can you please not? You know, yeah, that shove them together, like Like, self censoring, self silencing, that kind of thing. Um, one thing that I think is interesting to consider is if they did move forward with this, what is like, let's theorize for a second. Let's just speculate. What if hypothetically Netflix did remove this kind of content from these markets? How do you think the right wing would respond? American right wing. Cause I feel like the American right wing would be kind of torn. I think half of them, because especially there's such a anti LGBT content phase anti you know the with the accusations of grooming all this stuff going on in america with the culture war happening i think part of the right wing would be like based we need this too awesome but then i think another part of the right wing would be like freaking out and sounding the alarm over having these countries have that much influence over american companies like they would you know they wouldn't appreciate that level of infiltration that level of influence what do you think? How do you think the right wing would react if, like, hypothetically, they did appease the the GCC? They would just call out their hypocrisy. They were like, "Oh, you're poor LGBT until it's like money for money, like your your hypocrite until it's Islamic or for money, mm-hmm. right?" Um, so, yeah, I mean that's that's what they would do, obviously. I mean that's what, to be fair, that's what we would do as well. Yeah, of um, course. Yeah. But by the way, I think the LGBT stuff is more sensitive than racial stuff, right? Because, um, for Ch- for example, Disney for for China, Disney has different different covers, and they don't show the black characters that hide it from the ca- covers. Did you know? No, that? well, the, oh. sometimes there was one incidence where you were talking about that, where that was actually misinformation. Misinformation. Okay, good. Um, also, I heard uh, Disney refused to cut gay scenes in Lightyear for. So that's good. So Disney has been consistent in this as well. They like, yeah. They so for- they didn't ref- they didn't remove. Uh, it's like, it's like the smallest kiss ever. Like one woman opens the door, she's holding a baby. Another woman walks through the door, and as she walks through the door, she just gives her like a peck on the lips. It's not making out. It's literally just like a passing kiss. And this is the mm-hmm. outrage. <laughs> and um. Uh, yeah, so that, because of that, Lightyear was banned in basically all these countries we already listed. And same thing with, um, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, the recent Marvel movie. They refused to edit out, um, like a queer character and stuff like that. And because of that, that movie got banned as well. Yeah. Um, so they have been, uh, consistent on this, so that's good. But even if they, even if they submit to, to a country... It would be to China, not to yeah. GCC. Like that, they have a lot more viewers. If they if they ever bend the knee, it would be to China. Like yes. the GCC doesn't have that many viewers, to be fair, to, for them to be like to to take such a mm-hmm. yeah yeah yeah. Um, okay, I think we're good here. I like how Satya says the anti LGBT stance of the American right makes me want to puke. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> 
Yeah, that was good. I appreciate that, Satya, because that's not an opinion I hear from many people who are politically aligned with you. So, did cool. you hear you know, this from D? He surprised me. Huh. Oh, no, that was from a different story. I forgot okay. to um, undo the star. Sorry, I ruined your moment that you were having with Satya. <laughs> I didn't mean, didn't mean to interrupt. <laughs> we were having a moment. We were coming together. I was actually thinking about it. I feel kind of bad about what I said about Satya and Oxymoron on last week's episode. Yeah. I feel okay. somewhat justified, but as a person, I feel bad. Yeah. I think Satya is offended that you grouped him with that whole mess. I was like, what did I do? <laughs> <laughs> I understand, honestly. I get it. Yeah, I get it. I, 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 Here's the thing. Here? I have my I have my reasons, right? So mm -hmm. in my mind, I have like reasons why I believe not believe. I you know, I have reasons oh, for saying. He's offended right now it. too. He's offended right now too. He thinks like of course he's pro LGBT. Like, why did you expect otherwise? <laughs> I expect otherwise because of the sheer amount of horrific abuse I've experienced from people who are politically aligned with him. My experience okay. is so horrifically negative. Mm -hmm. So you did that collect is, him. No, it's 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 on the basis of experience, right? Like yeah, the fact well, that Sati said that to me is a unicorn. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's reasonable <laughs> to be surprised because literally everything in my previous experience has never led me to believe that that would be true. So of course I, I'm surprised. Um, okay. All right. Um, let's know, move man. forward. This move is what are, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, no, I just get, I don't know. Cause as, so here, here's my thinking. I feel kind of bad about saying that I dismiss things that oxymoron and Satya say because of like their, political leans and affiliations, right? I think I have a basis for justifying that logically, but then as a person, that's not how I would like to be treated as a person, right? Mm -hmm. And so there's also just the part of me that, cause I'm an extremely empathetic person. Like, I don't think that's a nice thing to do, even though like oxymoron, I think is a full blown fascist. And I'm so empathetic <laughs> that I'm even like, I don't even want to hurt the feelings of this person who yeah. has said the most abhorrent things I've ever heard. So, <laughs> cause that's just the type of person I am. So I feel kind of bad. I don't know. Okay. Um, all right, let's move on to the next news. Um, unless you want to add anything. Oh no, that was it. That I was just having a moment of self-reflection publicly. <laughs> it's good. Okay. No, I, I like these moments of self-reflection. I think like it's a window into how you think. And I, I think it's people would some people would hate you for it, but some people would get feel closer to you because the more they know about how you think about things, people some people will feel like, okay, I know Susie now, I know how she operates and how she thinks. And it's good, it's good for people to get feel like that. Yeah, like at um, the end of the day, I still see these people like just as people, right? See, like, yeah, exactly. And also, Shuri is saying, relatable. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Satya is so funny. Guys, stop. I don't know how to handle this. Indian liberals are not this good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's why you come here. You know, yeah. I am not perfect, but I try to be a good, a good lib. A, mm. I'm one of the good libs. <laughs> I'm one of the good libs. <laughs> Yeah. Also, like people need to understand that the you you know you're doing a lot for them. Like people in the left, you're you're basically going out, and I just come here and show up and just like comment, right? But you are making for the people that come here every week to see what the news is. You have put like a lot of effort into preparing things for them, researching things for them, studying it, analyzing it, the whole and you come team. here, and, yeah, and you and D and the rest of the team. And you just come here for them and for free. So, and she's here for you guys. So sometimes when she gets attacked by some of you, she feels like, why am I even doing this? Right. <laughs> right. Sometimes. Right. So, but yeah, but usually she feels, usually. He's guys mofos. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Get my best selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.